In this video, we're going to be talking about the dichotomous key. So the dichotomous key was created by John Baptiste Lamarck. He's actually credited for creating the first modern dichotomous key. Dichotomous means la divided in Latin. In the dichotomous key, it asks a question and it gives two choices. And depending on how the organism looks like or what they're trying to describe, you have to identify it. So we have a list of organisms over here and we're going to answer the questions and find its Latin name. So let's begin. Let's take A. So A is over here. And now let's answer the first question. Are there wings present or wings absent? We can obviously there's wings. So it says go to two. Two is here. So back legs adapted for jumping or back legs not adapted for jumping we can see a joint over here and when there's a joint that basically signifies that it's it's able to jump also we have these tiny hairs on the legs that is being that is used so that no insects or like small objects are able to attach to it so it is it adapted to jumping so this organism would be this one over here all right Next, let's look, to, let's look to organism number B. So organism number B, we're first going to see wings present or wings absent. It has wings, so we move to number two. Back legs adapted for jumping or back legs not adapted for jumping. Unlike here, it does not have that strong joints and, and it does not have that hairy leg at the bottom. So it's actually not adapted for jumping. So we have to go to number three. Also, if we said it was adapted for jumping, then obviously this can't be the exact same organism as this over here. So that's just, you could use common sense also to figure out that this won't be the exact same organism, so it can't be this organism again also. So we have to go to number three. So does it have two pairs of wings or one pair of wings? Well, it has one pair of wings. Yeah, so that means it's this one over here. Next, let's move to number C. Wings present or wings absent? There are no wings, so we go to number seven three pairs of legs or four pairs of legs there are only three pairs of legs so it would be this organism over here all right now let's move to number d so wings are present so we go to number two these well the legs are definitely not adaptable for jumping if we look at it so we go to number three two pairs of wings or one pair of wings there's actually two this over there so then we have to go to number four which is two pairs of wings so then when we go to number four does the wings have hair or no hairs it does not have hair so we go to number six number six thorax with spots or no spots it does not have spots on the thorax and because it does not have spots in the thorax it is considered this over here all right next let's move to e which is this one so it has wings so we go to two then it does not we can see there's like no legs so it does not have legs adapted for jumping so we go to three two pairs of wings so we go to number four now it has wings with hairs as we can see over here and now we have to go to number five so now we have hairs on the back wings are longer than the width of the back wing or hairs on the back wings are shorter than the width of the back wing so hairs as we can see over here they're definitely shorter than the entire width of the back wing. So this is the width over here. And this is how big the hairs would kind of be, okay? If we were to compare this entire thing to this small thing over here, that would definitely not make sense. So it's actually Batras, Batra Chedra Amidrala. So basically, the hair length is shorter than the entire width of, of the wing obviously so that's why it is considered this over here next let's move to f so when we move to f it has wings it does not have legs that are adapted for jumping it has two pairs of wings so it does not have wings on here so we go to six and over here it actually has a thorax with spots because this part is the thorax and we can definitely see spots over here so it's considered this organism over here. Next, let's go to G. So we can already skip over the wings are present. So yeah, two. Um, it does not have it because there's like no joint over here. So it actually can't jump. It has two pairs of wings. So we go to four. It has wings with hair. So we go to five. And here, the wing length 
over here is probably around like this big so take this length and stick it over here it's around the exact same height as the actual width of the um wing and because it's like basically the exact same height instead of it being like the batra chedra amidrala it's actually the ephestia cautella and lastly we have h over here when we look at h there are no wings present so wings are absent so we go to seven and we see three pairs of legs or four pairs of legs we have one two three four so it's actually this over here so we took the entire list we identified it based on its respective scientific name and we matched it together if you guys want you could search these scientific names up and try to find out what these or what these organisms actually are and their purpose in the ecosystem so this is how you use the dichotomous key to figure out the organism this is also the purpose of the dichotomous key